like a boss. All right, ladies, um, this is Alex from Mind for Attraction, and this is a public service announcement, all right? This is a public service announcement for some of you ladies that are just hard-headed, all right? And this is the thing. The first guy is never the right guy, you know? The first guy is never the right guy. The first guy is always the wrong guy, all right? And the reason why I say this is this, man. It's insecurity, to say yes to the first guy that comes to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it, it truly is because it's it's like you're not really assessing him based on who he is, but based on who is first, you know? And I'll be honest with you, um, the best things in the world is when the women choose like that because they don't make logical decisions. And usually it leads us to winning, all right? That's why you see a random dude who's ugly as shit with a hot girl. It was only because he just happened to catch her when she was mentally weak right anyways for that's on for another day right so it's insecurity to go after the first person right so this is what i want you to do by not picking the first guy that comes to you right it means that you learn to pick the situation that's always in your favor you see a good strategist doesn't put himself his or herself in situations that doesn't favor them right so that means is that the first guy usually is the wrong guy Right? Because the, the thing is, is that you don't want to waste your time with the wrong guy because life is too short. You know, life is way too short to waste it on the wrong guy. Right? So what I would recommend is to, to, to first, how can I say it? The first thing you got to do is test them, right? To test, to know if they, if they open up to you. I don't want you to, you meet the guy and all of a sudden you like him. No. First, learn to test the guy. Pick the right guy first. Test him. And how do you test him? It's by noticing the way they respond to you. Paying attention the way they respond to you. Noticing if he flakes or not. Noticing if he's texting a little bit too too long. It's taking too long to text you back, right? The way that he responds to you, even when you talk to him on the phone, you notice the conversations are short. You notice his voice is a little down. None of that means he's bored. That means that he might not like you, right? Don't take it personal notice them the way that the way they respond to you is how they um is how much they like you do not give it any rational don't rationalize it oh he's bored oh he's sad oh he's this oh he's busy no nah. the way that he responds to you is how he feels about you all right so don't take it personal because once you notice the way they're reacting to you or their lack of reaction then you can proceed if he doesn't react to you properly <laughs> Even if you like him, you don't perceive him. Look, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I have, I have standards in life, right? Particularly with women and people. And I have things that I mentally check off. And no matter how much I like the girl, if she if she doesn't meet those standards, there's a limit that it, there's a limit with how much I'm gonna get close to her because I don't want to fall for someone. Who doesn't have who who doesn't who doesn't do the things that I enjoy to do, right? I I I rather not fall in love with you because then we can have friction. I would rather just even though you're a great girl, right? Even though you do things great, I would rather lose you because you you don't you're not 100% what I want, right? And the thing is, is that the only reason why I'm that picky is because I have options. It's not that I'm picky because I'm irrational. Because then if I didn't have as many options, then my, then I'll, it's not that I'll lower my standards, but I'll, I'll be realistic. I'll be realistic and say, okay, how much can I handle? You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you're not just like, hmm, I'm this, I'm high status. I'm going to say no, 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 no. Know what you can get and be realistic. If you are, if you're okay with not having no one, right? Which is something that I really recommend that you guys strive for by following your purpose, which is what I'm going to be talking about in my seminar, October 26th in New York City, where I'm going to be talking about how to find your life's task. It's, it's, it's going to be an incredible seminar. So go check it down below, but that will help you. Um, that will help you calm your mind from trying to get distractions to finding your purpose and that'll naturally calm you down right but if, that's for a whole another different su subject right so once you notice that the guy isn't really once you notice that the guy likes you but not that much then you're gonna you and, and if you notice noticing that you have to keep playing these games to regain his interest then he's not the right guy for you no matter how good the chemistry is if you're noticing that his reaction and his liking to you is only temporary and you got to do things to build it up, 
he just it's it, it's not compatible to you so you got to make the decision that's best for you you see what i'm saying so um so this is what i want you guys to do right the kind of guy that I, the kind of guy to pick if you want to control a guy right if you want to control a guy the kind of guy that i will really recommend getting <laughs> is guys with strong egos with strong masculine egos that's the kind of guy you guys want to get because those are easy to control like the aggressive kind like not not the physically aggressive but the ones that that, that are like always rushing to things those are those are the easiest ones to control <laughs> you see what i'm saying um now if you want a guy for like a compatibility the kind of guy you want to go for is the guy who has the opposite traits of who you are right like for example with me it would be a girl who's very studious who is very focused who who um who am i thinking of a girl i'm thinking of a, like a specific girl fuck that bitch who cares you broke my heart anyways right but the point is is that you want to go for somebody who has the opposite traits of you right like like if you're a girl who's very like studying and stuff like that the problem is is that some of you guys are very studious and like the opposite of studious is me but usually the kind of me's that are that exist are broke <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like it's, it's it's a little difficult right but the point is is that be, hey, don't mind that what i'm saying is that sometimes even light-hearted in spirit if you're somebody who's very strict you want to go for somebody who's more light-hearted if it's somebody who is very um relaxed you want to go for somebody who's very strict right you want to have that opposite that's that's the best kind of relationship for you i mean in general like it's not, it's not, it's not that i'm saying that like that guy no, no i'm saying in general having somebody who has the opposite traits of who you are that you lack like your weaknesses if you're somebody that's shy you want to be with somebody who's social that kind of stuff balances things together it's really good it really is man and and, and to be honest with you that is a that is one of the best ways that is one of the most important compatibilities chemistry is the last thing chemistry is a cherry on top chemistry is important don't get me wrong like 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 thing is is that everything could be there without chemistry and you'll still be happy you see what i'm saying but if chemistry is there but it is but everything else is not there like the compatibility you're gonna be very unhappy so it's kind of like chemistry is important but it's the last thing that you it's the last thing that you want to have because sometimes chemistry develops over time you see what i'm saying but you want to look for the other traits and you want to be very quick to to throw people out throw that throw guys down the curb you want to be very quick with that because you don't want to waste your time you gotta you want to be very good at reading people right and the way you do this is to not say yes to the first guy and learn to observe people look man i recommend reading the book the laws of human nature it's it will open your got your eyes up to to human nature it's it's it's, it's to the point that if you read that book long enough you develop almost like an instinct to read people it's, it's true fucking creepy to be honest with you it's, it's really creepy really really creepy um anyways uh because there's some things you just don't want to know but then you just notice and you can't all see them um anyways um this is alex from my attraction all right ladies and gentlemen if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life your spiritual life honestly um, your relationship life your family life your career life this is the course for you if i had to make a course for my nieces i have two nieces one is 8 19 and one is 14 15 16 holy shit oh my god he's a bad fucking uncle he's a, he's a bad uncle get him shut up melissa you should, you should get this course right and this is the course that i will make for them so for example watch the curriculum right in the first week we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy this masculine foundation is a source of who you are right it's it's your bodyguard without this your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem your masculine is your shield so we'll talk about goal setting we'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude we're going to be talking about how to um how to use more logic how to use more goal-oriented behavior it's more how to be a man <laughs> you know it you know now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy right this one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits developing self-awareness healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. 
After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.